Hello fellow modelers and styling fanatics, welcome back to my channel, I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Concrete Bunker is back again today with another one of its notorious episodes. On today's episode guys, we talk about our next project, a little bit about it, and uh, we also unbox it, see the box contains. Now. Uh, before I start uh, uh, a firm introduction to what made me choose this kit, uh, I mainly chosen it because the box was not looking at uh, a good shape. Box was disintegrating while it was in my stars, so I thought with myself, let's build this one first, because uh, if I let it be over there, maybe parts would be calm damaged. Now. Um, I don't want to bore you any further guys uh, I want you to do the usual stuff you know grab yourself a seat make yourselves comfortable crack the mandatory cold one or a hot brew whatever you prefer and let's see what me and past George will tackle this time so what's the next kit on, you, on the menu you may ask boom here it is guys the TAF 34 76 1940 model uh, from Cyber Hobby in 1 to 35th scale and kit number 9153 or plane 53. So uh, I have bought this. Where this? Where? Where? How did this kit come to my possession? I have bought it from a Greek Facebook a second hand group. Uh, if I remember correctly, I have paid uh, 30 euros for it together with the shipping to my place uh, and I mainly grabbed it at that time because I wanted to try uh, myself a cyber hobby kit. I know that cyber hobby kits are dragon uh, kits. Uh, reboxed with some extra stuff like in this case the soviet gen 2 weapons as it says over here it's a bonus okay <laughs> i'm gonna take it uh, so i know that they are a uh, former dragon kits or it is a dragon masquerade to a uh, cyber hobby but that's okay by me um, through a quick search that i have done in scale mates site this kit is released in 2016 so we are talking about uh, an 80 year old kit uh, but a, a more thorough search go, uh, goes back to uh, 2006 for the T34 uh, that it is included inside the box so um, let's let's take a look at the box at the exterior of the box as you can see over here the box is slowly deteriorating to nothingness that's why i have chosen this one over here we have a good box art uh, we have a three-tone camo scheme an interesting three-tone camo scheme uh, t34 over here it says an assembled model kit Kit contains over 360 parts, great, if you ask me, I like high parts count kits because they take more time to assemble, which means more value for money in my mind. Um, as I've said, it comes with bonus Soviet Gen 2 weapons, I have no use for them, I am gonna. So uh, I am going to... Uh, to, to include them on the unboxing as well but I have no use for them for the time being I'm gonna keep them uh, in my stash for future endeavors and nothing else for from ah oh, nothing else okay the box is a side opener that's why it deteriorates side openers tend to deteriorate a lot mainly because they are not as firm as a uh, lead boxes you know uh, this is a huge bummer for me because I tend to to 
to store my sprues while I build in inside the box. This thing pisses me off. I'm not gonna use it for storage. I have to find something else for storage while I am building this kit. So first minus, minus one point for this one. For every cyber hobby kit, if I'm not mistaken, because most uh, all of them are uh, side openers. Anyway, over here at the side we have depictions of the finished article in uh, uh, 4BO or the generic green, <laughs> if you ask me. Russian 4BO is <laughs> generic green. There's so many shades of it, and there is so much you know uh, fighting on the on the facebook groups and on the forums and on chats about what what is the proper for bo for me is a generic green guys <laughs> there is no mistake for a for bo over here we have the caution says that when you use glue or paint do not use near open flame i don't know who open who models near open flame but anyway and use in a ve in a well ventilated room why i'm gonna lose the uh, i'm gonna lose the high if i use it in the in the well, well ventilated room anyway over here in the back this kit comes with another uh, you know, uniqueness, I am gonna name it, that, that's the word that I was searching from. Paint and markings of for this kit come over here at the back of this box. So, we're gonna review them first, <laughs> that's the, the first thing we are gonna review, is the paint and markings. We have those two interesting uh, three-tone camo schemes. First one is an identified unit in Eastern Front 1941. Second one is First Moscow uh, Motorized Rifle Division, July 1941. And third one with the generic 4BO is an identified unit, Eastern Front 1941 as well. Uh, only we have over here, over here, sorry. We have uh, the decal sheet, it is from Cartograph, I like decals from Cartograph, to be honest with you, they are uh, thin and they are perfect, but we are gonna talk about it later, they are perfect in my mind, but as I've said, we're gonna talk about it later, and uh, from what you can see, the decals are only for the first uh, markings, the first version of the kit. The unidentified unit. Um, I don't know yet if I am going to do this one or or uh, the 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 usual uh, for bo. I am leaning to this one mainly because it is uh, rare to see a three tone camo um, T34. But we're gonna see. Either way, there is a twist in this build that I am going to reveal as we as we will start building it, not yet. Um, over here at the side there is nothing apart the kit number 9153, yeah I know I am holding it uh, upside down. And same over here at the other side. Now let's crack open the box to see the contains. I have already uh, opened the baggies, so inside the box we find the lower hole if I have counted well 12 sprues together with the, the same ones, you know the identical ones a baggie with a thread and the decals and the instruction skit now yeah now let me take care of the mess over here and i am going to be back in order for you guys in order to show you guys a, a, a closer look of the sprues okay mess is taken care of let's start from the usual stuff uh, first let's start from the lower hole okay 
we have a, a, a bathtub style hall detail is here it is uh, good we have hex balls over here we have bump stops over here we have some uh, plates with hex bolts over here let me grab a pointer let's be a little bit more professional over here an escape hatch a maintenance hatch on, on the bottom uh, this thing with this uh, hex bolt it is uh, a detail in the in the in the T34's lower hull and over here in the inside we have grooves for the the T34 suspension system I'm gonna you gonna understand what I am saying when we are going to grab the instructions uh, plastic is good is good plastic is that the, the brittle plastic located in old really old dragon kits the imperial series for the guys that they know you know the plastic is not so gray it is a lighter tone of gray and it feels brittle but i believe that it should do the job now let me give you a closer look here it is you can see some scuff markings over here probably it was done to remove these things injection uh, molds i think that the guy never <laughs> never made it <laughs> okay that's okay by me and let's leave this aside and move towards the next thing let's try let's try let's grab the the, the parts of that in random okay over here we have two small screws, this is the bonus of this kit, this is the Soviet, the Gen 2 Soviet guns. They are insignificant for me, but anyway, insignificant because I have no, no, uh, no plans for them, I have no use for them at the time being. Anyway, this is how they look. We have some uh, magazines over here, you know, uh, rows of bullets like the the M1 <laughs> and we have a rifle over here detail is really good let's grab the other sprue the other sprue has helmets has uh, those uh, ammunition magazines for the MG small or not for the MG for the PPS8 this one sorry this one is for the MG we have the, the bipod and the other uh, submachine, gu submachine guns over here. And here is a closer look. Looks like here yeah, we have uh, hollow gun barrels. Okay, hollow as hollow as they can. Looks like the, the parts over here were slight molded which is great so this is the bonus that uh, it is included in this kit the, this, these two small screws with the soviet weapons let's continue with the meat and potatoes of this uh, kit ok let's get rid of the identicals over here we have three sprues that contain um, the, the individual links of the tracks so I am going to move the two aside and we're gonna see the first one we're gonna take a look at the, at the first one so typical typical as it is with the T34 tracks you have one link without the tooth and one link with the tooth and it goes one and one one of the two one with the tooth sorry one without and one with the tooth again and you go on and on and on until you have a row of tracks now the first problem that I see over here is I don't know if my camera can catch it probably probably can 
if I position it correctly, okay, is this one. You have in in every in individual track we have two injection pin marks. So if we are to build this one properly, we have a lot of cleaning in front of us. And oh, guys, we have to be careful. We have to be extra careful because there is uh, there is some detail uh, uh, apparent over here. So another point minus two points minus for the cyber hobby kit. Anyway, this is the the other side of the tracks, which uh, it is a uh, it is surprising for me because I haven't seen this uh, track pattern mainly because. Uh, whenever I have built the uh, T34s, they were not the 76 variant, it was the 82, if I remember correctly. So, here's a closer look. All, the, all these are individual links used for the tracks. And these ones over here that they have the bolts together with these ones are the spare tracks that are stored on top of the vehicle very nice detail just minus one point from here because of the, the ejection mold marks so let's move on to the next one mm -hmm. let me find another identical okay this one this is a duplicate I'm gonna keep only one of them. So, here we have three sprues in one. We have sprue A, sprue M, and sprue N. All glued together in a, in one big sprue. So, in sprue A, we have the suspension, uh, the suspension arms the idler or sprocket uh, housing an engine hatch and some detail parts yes yeah, some detail parts that i don't recognize for the time being uh, we we have some mold uh, some sink marks over here but that's okay because this is the side that uh, points towards the the hole so we won't be able to 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 see them detail is a little bit soft over here if you ask me it is apparent but it is a little bit soft okay i'm gonna i'm gonna accept this okay so that's that is what is included in sprue A. In sprue M now, we have the external fuel tanks, some uh, some uh, I don't know how they are called. I forgot the name now. Sorry. Some hooks that tie down hooks. Yeah, found it. <laughs> and over here. Let me flip it. We have some leather straps. That's what they look to be, leather straps. And we have also the exhaust uh, tip, part of the exhaust. Detail is apparent over here, but it is so soft. This is once again the Imperial uh, plastic, the Dragon Imperial plastic, the brittle one. And let's move on to sprue N now. So over here we have these four that they are the mounts for the the exterior the exter the exterior fuel tanks. Sorry guys. And these things, these four things, which is parts of the T34 suspension system. Over here you can see the springs. Yep, detail is good. I have nothing more to note. I can see some flash here and there, some minimum, some minimum flash here and there that needs clean up. Nothing more to note. Let's give you a closer look.
professional. <laughs> Let's give you a look from the other side. Looks solid if you ask me. I am quite happy. So let's move on to the next one. Hmm. And now we start from we start with the good sprues. The good sprues, you know, the typical good dragon plastic. And you're gonna see what I mean. Let's grab one in random. Ah, come on. Boom. So here we have sprue G. Over here we have, let me zoom out a little bit, the, the turret halves. This is the, the rear armor plate, if I am not mistaken, the rear bottom armor plate, and this is the, the, the rear upper armor plate where the exhausts are located. We have the front uh, glacis plate, I think that's how it is called. Uh, engine deck vex vents and engine deck vents as over here as well. Now, uh, and uh, apart those vents, we have also hatches. The, the turret hatch, the driver hatch, and this one is the machine gun uh, uh, mount the coaxial machine gun mount now although they provide this one they never give us the photo it's a fret for for filling this one they give us this thing which has which has the mess now i'm gonna be honest i don't like that okay you don't wanna give me a photo it's mess at least give me a mess a fake plastic mess a fake plastic mess you know a tool like tamiya like uh, like the thing tamiya provides but anyway i'm not gonna rant about that over uh, about that now i'm just stating uh, my opinion this one sucks a little bit if you ask me since you give me this option with the open uh, thing the open vent over here you should at least give me the the photo edge mess for this thing. Round over. Now, hmm. this one is the usual dragon plastic. This one is crisp. It is detailed. It is not so brittle. It is. Uh, it is wonderful. <laughs> If I am to 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 find a word to describe it, anyway. Now detail is crisp everywhere. We have bolts over here. We have the mess over here. <laughs> we have vents. We have a lot, and I mean a lot of uh, weld marks in everything in every armor uh, in every armor in in every iron part that it is attached onto the the hole we have weld marks and we have nice uh, weld marks so we don't need to make our own flash is nowhere to be seen so i am happy with this pool now let me give you a closer look Here. <clears throat> here you can see the weld marks if my camera will focus yeah the engine mess nicely detailed we have some texture over here for example texture is faint but it is you know it, it is there
And now another thing that I wanna talk about, I don't know if I am going to remove another point from this kit, but I am thinking about it. Now my next problem is this thing, that the toilet comes in two halves, which means that it is going to be a little bit troublesome because uh, we are going to have a, a sim, a sim line, yeah, a sim line uh, running. Uh, in the middle of the turret uh, but I am not gonna say anything right now unless I uh, will build it you know I will uh, wait until I reach the, the build stage to talk about it so I'm not gonna remove another points another point from this kit so we are minus two points that was sprue G and that's one of uh, the, the really nice sprues included in the kit. Let's move on to the next one. Another good sprue guys is this one. This one is an, uh, once again three sprues in one. In one B, E and H. So, let's start with the small sprue first, let's start with the E sprue. On the E sprue we have, uh, you know, the things that we use to tie down hooks, <laughs> I remembered it, uh, leather, leather straps over here and some other unidentified uh, detail pieces. On sprue B we have the turret lid. Uh, these towing hooks, this hat, I think that it is a hat. We have the front, uh, one of the front armor plates, and, uh, headlights, and another uh, two options, another two options for exhaust pipes and some detailed parts, unidentified detailed parts over here. In sprue eight, right now we have what looks like the gun barrel, the short gun barrel, bridge detail, a pioneer tool and a uh, muzzle uh, oh, ah, okay, a manlet detail and the front uh, part of the turret uh, once again detail is fine and crisp over here I have nothing to note if I am not mistaken yeah I have nothing to note and now let me give you a close look start from sprue E with the tiny detail parts ah, ok here is something to note over here we have to be extra careful of how we are going to remove these parts this is gonna be a little bit troublesome as well because we may damage something if we are not careful okay I found some I found something to complain about <laughs> I don't usually do this stuff guys but since it's there I have to talk about it since I am doing an unboxing and a review anyway I'm not a guy that does reviews, I'm just unboxing this kit and I am talking about my opinion on what I see. Really, really nice and crisp. Okay, another good sprue. Now, oh, we have another identical sprue duplicate identical sorry and this one this is the those two those two are duplicate so remove one and grab the other one so two sprues in one <coughs> sprue D and sprue F on sprue D we have let me give you a closer let, let me give you a look from the other side the road wheels really really nice tire detail and bolts detail over here and on sprue F we have 
Sprocket and idler wheel and some other detail parts that I cannot recognize right now except the exhaust cover hub caps over here and details I also don't know what this one is but okay over here as I've said detail is is here and crisp once again but I, I really like what I am seeing there is no flash at all just minimum cleanups here and there hmm. okay this time I have really nothing to note so let me give you a closer look This one you will have to see from the other side. Some tiny pieces over here. Oh my god. What's this? What's that? <sighs> there is a bolt also here. <laughs> bolt a pin <laughs> anyway okay and the last but not least the upper hole together with the C sprue so onto the C sprue we have some seats those so this kit probably comes with a turret interior which is great because it has a big um, turret hatch, a, bit, a big commander's hatch which means that we can pose it either open or close since we have some interior and the upper hole which looks wonderful if you ask me because it's crisply detailed it has, it has some texture it has weld marks where, whenever they need to be yeah, it is really nice really really nice okay fenders are uh, molded on over here okay pretty good And over here we have the CISPRO contains. Nothing to note, guys. Yep, nothing to note. Really, really nice. And that was all the plastic parts included in the kit. Now let's move on to the decals as I've said they are from Cartograph 2016 copyright it says they look very thin and they, they don't have so the, the excess film around the decals is almost not there so this means that they are really good and I am really happy but I am going to be sure uh, when I will apply them so only one option of markings something in Russian if I will find the, the translation I am going to include it over here in the video and here we have a small thread that it is a uh, for uh, you know the towing rope use now this one sucks a little bit because I believe that the thread is small and it is a lazy it, a lazy it is a lazy job from uh, the company I am probably going to replace this one so 
that was everything that it is contained inside this kit apart the instructions now let's grab the instructions and talk about them a little bit okay let's zoom out a bit the instructions is a fold out piece of paper sucks a little bit but that's okay <laughs> I am going to get over it first page we have a sprue map that the guy that I have bought the kit from checked his sprues that everything is okay uh, uh, over here parts labeled with these blue colors are not uh, are not going to be used okay there is not a lot of stuff that we are gonna leave uh, outside we're gonna leave you know in the parts bin okay and let's move on to the first page first page we have the legends and their explanations over here we have uh, the the color callout, which is for GSI Creos, our Creos Hobby Color, and uh, Mr. Color and Model Master Color. Of course, and I have, nah, I, I don't have any of those ranges. But anyway, and we start from the first step. The first step is the installation of. Uh, of the suspension system over here at the inner part of the hole that uh, the thing that I was talking about second step is the more suspension system installation like the, the suspension arms together with uh, the sprocket uh, housing third, third step is the, the rear armor plate together with some hatches over here at the bottom of the, the hull the hull not the hull ok step number 4 is the um, oh the assembly of Spro sprocket idler and road wheels step number five is the attachment of every wheel onto the vehicle step number six show you how to put the the trucks together and oh boy they are organized they know the crime look over here guys even in the instruction sheet we have injection mold marks they knew it they did it on purpose okay another minus another point that I am going to remove from this kit is over here at steps uh, number six they never tell us how many links per site am I going to <laughs> To, 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 to not wonder a, a, am I going to find it out myself oh god anyway so minus another point for for this this is a simple counting thing it does tell me approximately 92 per side but anyway minus 3 points <laughs> for the cyber hobby kit I, I should uh, remove another point for this, but that's okay So step number seven we start working onto the upper hole and we are starting to attach vents and the, the The upper hole mesh over here the rear mesh the notorious T34 mesh that was step number seven. Let's move on to step number eight. So on step number eight, we are working on the front glazes plate attachment of the driver's hats, together with the the the, the, the machine the machine gun base with the, the quarks and the quarks and the machine gun. Then on step number nine, we attach the the front glazes plate to the upper hole and then the upper hole to the lower hole. 
Step number 10, we attach some uh, minor details, minor details, some details onto the the, hole, the upper hole together with the exhaust system and uh, the engine access hatch. Uh, step number 11 is this one probably. We attach some accessories and those uh, those are the, the jacks for the, the tank step number 12 more accessories in form of the, the spare tracks and uh, the hooks the towing hooks over here step number 13 is the towing rope step number 14 is the attachment of the, the the headlights more spare tracks these things which I have no idea what they are and if someone has an answer to that I will um, I, I, I'm going to I, I will be oh, I cannot find the word right now We have this part that goes uh, over here at the seam line between the upper and the lower hole. And step 15, pioneer tools. Step 16, gun manlet and bridge assembly. Step 17, we join the gun manlet bridge bridge assembly and the front part of the turret step 18 we join the two sides the two halves of the turret step 19 we attach the turret lid step 20 this this is a little bit mixed this should be this is supposed to be step 19 but okay so step 20 we attach detail parts and the commander's uh, hats to the uh, the lid of the turret and step 21 we attach the turret to the rest of the uh, the, the tank a quality product of dragon <laughs> so mm. Dragon is notorious for their instruction sheet. I'm if if I am not going to if I don't start to build it, I won't be able to trace any mistakes. So I am going to to say that instructions are good with a pinch of salt over here. I don't like the three D modeled thing because this thing is a hit or miss. I'm gonna see if I will like it uh, as I build in the process but uh, as, as I see it right now I don't really like it and steps are kinda busy That's which is usual for Dragon and it is to be expected from Cyber Hobby which is Dragon Masqueraded now these guys is going to be our next project I have uh, I have something particular in my mind for it but I'm not going to reveal it yet I am going to reveal it as soon as we start uh, to build this kit because mainly I don't know <laughs> I don't want to spoil the surprise now it is time for me to wrap up this episode and with all that said and done we have made it to the end of this episode on our next episode we will probably start working on the T-34 and we are gonna reveal some of our plans uh, I hope that you guys found this video helpful and interesting and stick along for the next one before I go I wanna thank each and every one of you guys that watched this video a special thank you to my old and new subscribers. You guys are the best and you are the reason I keep doing these videos. Now for the newcomers out there that encounter one of my videos for the first time. Welcome guys. I hope that you like what I do. If so, you all know what to do. 
leave a like, comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video if you believe it deserves to be shared, or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, take care and model on, it was that Mofo Damon, signing out.